Hello everybody, my name is Sean and today I'm going to be giving you some quick tips and tricks for H1Z1. Um, if you're a beginner then this video will be perfect for you, but you know if you're not a beginner you might as well just stick around because you don't know, you might actually learn something new. And yeah, this gameplay actually wasn't just, like I'm not talking as I'm doing the gameplay, it's been like recorded quite a bit ago. So if you like the video then be sure to let us know. And I'll just get on with the video now, and I hope you enjoy. The first tip I'm going to be giving you is when you first start the game, you'll notice you're inside of a parachute, and like, what you should do is, if you should go in third person, you can do this by pressing the T button, and like, just look straight down. When that happens, you'll start falling faster, like sort of free falling effect. But as you can see in this video, what's happened is, it's like, it actually gets harder to control it, and... But you know, it's still good because you'll be able to get all the loot before everyone else and all that good stuff, you'll get a better start. The next tip isn't really hard at all, or this is just like organisation, but it will be better in the long run because if you organise your inventory, so say if you've got like medkits at the top and bandages, then you know, if you're in a difficult situation, you'll be able to heal yourself fast with no bother. The next tip is actually also very simple. You can either replace your shoes to make you go quieter, or what you can do is you can get some sneakers or Converse, whatever you want to call them, trainers, and then you can actually put those on instead of the work boots, and they're much better because they make you quieter and you can also run a lot faster. But without any shoes, you actually are quiet anyways. The next tip is pretty much just something that's like useful and no, you know, you um, might have already knew it, but if when you go on prone, no one can actually see your name tag. So let's say, for example, if you've got some teammates which are trying to kill you, or even if you're in survival mode, you can go prone and then no one can actually see where you are. But if you're in crouch, then they actually will be able to see where you are. So yeah, if you're trying to get away from someone and just hide from someone, then make sure you're in prone instead of crouch or else they will be able to see you easily, like your name tag that is. Something else which is also very useful to do is to always carry around two helmets, and that's because when you've got one, if you get someone headshot on you, then that'll actually save your life. But it also come off, so it's always good to have an extra helmet on you, because you know it could save your life again, it already has. It's just something that's always good to be there to keep you safe. But um, I'd only do this if you've got enough space in your inventory because you do take up quite a lot of room. Now then, the final tip that I'm going to be giving to you is you should always pick up, well not always, you should just like pick up some shirts, backpacks, hats and stuff like that because when, when you do that you can just shred them and then you can create bandages and doing that gives you the ability to you know, heal yourself, see if you don't have enough med kit. It's just a nice thing to do because that once again they can save your life just like how the helmets could have. And yeah, if you like this video, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, and it would be good if you could subscribe. And that's all. Goodbye. <laughs>